Cats and kittens from around the world, welcome to Rockabilly Rumble, the interviews. And tonight we have Aileen Quinn and the Leaping Lizards. Take it away, boys and girls. All right, this first one's for all the fans out there. It's called Mama Didn't Raise You Right. Cats and kittens, welcome to Rockabilly Rumble. The interviews were coming to you from the Handlebar Barbershop and Apothecary from beautiful downtown Thousand Oaks, California. And today we have Aileen Quinn and the Leaping Lizards. How you doing, fellas? Hey. Yeah, okay. <laughs> well, great. Got quite a gang here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and some, uh, some motley crew. Yeah, I got yeah, some yeah. lizards. <laughs> yeah. a, you've got four squeezed on this bench. That's a record, I think. Is it for this barbershop? Yes. All right. So, uh, Aileen, how did you guys get to, when did the band form, and how did this all come, yeah, about, come about? Yeah, this came about about four years ago. And uh, I was really impressed with the women of Rockabilly. I yes. saw a special, and I saw Brenda Lee and Wanda Jackson, and of course oh, now I'm into yeah. Imelda May. Yeah. And I said, man, what those women are doing, and especially for that yeah. era, I said, I want to be part of that sassiness, being a redhead myself. Yeah. I said, I want to get in there and do that. And met the guys through varying yeah. <laughs> ways around mm -hmm. LA, around the scene. And uh, here we are four years later. Oh, that's great. Yeah. And uh, Tom is kind of teammate with you somehow. Yeah, he's been here since the beginning. Yeah. 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 Tom was, Murray. Tom was On calling Trump's me vocals. when I subbed for Matt once. That was a real <laughs> joy. Yeah. So Matt, tell us all about that bass, man. Yeah. It's all about that, yeah. that, all uh, about that bass. Uh, her name's Bertha. She's 52K. 52. Yeah, five Very stringer. Sweet. Not a Cubby Jackson or anything like that. So. Five strings yeah. are pretty cool. Yeah, five strings are pretty cool. I got, I got a, a second E on the on the lower string. Was yeah. it a Factory 5? Yeah, or it was a, yeah, Factory 5. Ah, so, yeah. okay. So, Those are rare because yeah. a lot of guys put bigger fingerboards on them and make them fives. Yeah, yeah, sure. yeah I, I, I'm almost inclined to make it a four because I never used the fifth string, but, you know, I mean, it's, it's such <laughs> a cool thing. Looks. Yeah, you know, <laughs> make, makes me, you know, <laughs> makes me look like I know what I'm doing. <laughs> so, uh, anybody own hot rods? Not at this Not time. Yet. Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> 
we've yeah. driven them and uh, I got my eye on we're one. Working on Adam, them. Yeah. 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 We got tattoos on Matt's got one, you got yeah. a couple, anybody else? Yeah. 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 I don't have any tattoos either. either. Except for I have one little spot right here on my thigh. When it's at grade school, my pencil rolled down the desk and went like this to catch it. Ow! Uh. <laughs> like, right. That's my only tattoo. <laughs> but I, got, I got my eye on a car, though. Darla knows this from my baby oh. Joe's, keeping me in clothes. And uh, she's got a sweet blue car that she knows I have my eye on. So I'm going to be saving up for that. I believe it's a, do you remember the year it's on that it's one? A Newport, it's a Newport. I think it's a 64. Yeah, oh. it's sweet. Yeah. It's so cool. Awesome. She knows I want it, so yeah. I'll be coming for it. <laughs> so I'm Darla. using the photo shoot for the Yeah, for, for the, the album. album. Yeah. Yeah, and I want it. <laughs> Let me see that. Spit. Oh, yeah, the it's only the hood. <laughs> There's the yeah. hood. Yeah. Yeah. But the rest of the car is sweet the with those the back car. little yeah. tails there. I want that car. I see it. Yeah. It's only the hood, but. <laughs> By the way, a, a tip on buying cars. If you get one mm -hmm. older than 1975, it's smog exempt. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> right. yeah. Smog exempt. That's my problem with my 88 Mustang. Every year, <laughs> gotta, gotta, gotta clean the uh, EGR valve and do uh, something. But, How's, so, your, how's your wagon coming along? You got it painted yet? Uh, it's it's going to be as soon as we get the title, which will be September 8th, I'll be owner and we're heading to the paint shop. Uh, so I don't want to okay. put any more dough until, until we know I can get it registered. <laughs> yep. But um, anyway, enough about me. <laughs> Aileen, yeah. you were famous for a, you were a famous movie star, which mm -hmm. maybe some people don't know, but Tell us all about that experience. Yeah, well, being that I we are Aileen Quinn and the Leaping Lizards, you might have clued in on that. It's a little ode to little orphan Annie, yeah. <laughs> that other redhead. Yeah, so that was when I was about nine years old and was on the set filming nine through ten years old on the sets in L.A. and New York and... Uh, one more place I'm forgetting. It'll come to me. New Jersey. New Jersey. <laughs> For Jersey Mike. Yeah, Jersey. Yeah. Awesome. yeah. The original Annie. Yeah, from the gentlemen. 1982. It's so, so scary to say that. Columbia Pictures film. Yeah. Carol Burnett, John Huston director, Albert oh. Finney. Amazing cast. It was, yeah. And they, of course, you were the little darling of the set, I'm sure. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, they all treated me like I was their, you know, their granddaughter, daughter, yeah. you name it. Yeah. Right. I was playing speak and spell with Carol Burnett on breaks because she wanted me to keep up my education. Yeah. <laughs> Between Carol takes. Burnett. <laughs> Carol Burnett. She was great. So, I always wonder about, they always have a set tutor. So what's that like? Yes. Yeah, so when everybody else, the adults get a break and Albert smokes a cigar and somebody <laughs> buys scotch, uh, you go to school pretty much right. so I had to have I think it's three hours of school a day could be six but I know it was at least three three is hours of school a day one tutor that, or yeah school? Gloria and, we're, and she's still out here in LA we've reunited oh since God. I moved back here so yeah my teacher's still here and she's still working on sets she's great yeah, I was always yeah. curious do you have lessons do you have to write a, a report we, we really did and when I went back to school after filming I really did actually have to take all the tests and everything uh -huh. I went to a good school so good old Catholic school <laughs> I figure you would, maybe you were advanced you know, like, hey, I'm smarter than you kids because I had a good teacher. <laughs> she was pretty darn good, but yeah. nah, you still got to fit right back in. Yeah, no breaks. So t any of you guys can tell me uh, some something about your own personal adventures in mm. the, the, the rockabilly world. For example, what's the best gig you ever played or any oh, bad yeah. experience, your worst gig? How'd you get started? Anybody, just you can jump tell in it. there. <laughs> oh, man. Man, my worst one's probably one I don't even remember. I had a few of those. <laughs> <laughs> That's our Matt. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> a, few, a few flat on my back. Well, we had yeah. the, the last week's band was telling us about being spit on at the forum or something because Ooh, they were, wow. you know, was opening no, act for somebody. Ooh, you know, so, so far, not yet, not yet. <laughs> I'd never heard of that. No. no. We've actually been around the LA scene, been welcomed it's pretty, pretty much good with yeah, not good wood, yeah, open yeah, arms. Vegas yeah, and places we played. Yeah, yeah so, so far. Pretty good. That's, That's not to say if we get on the road that things could happen, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. we're not on the road yet. Well, I've seen you guys at the Joe's Great America, yeah, which is a fantastic Joe's. music. Mm -hmm. uh, hang. It's a great club, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, um, have you had any exotic ones, uh, Jorge in Guatemala? He's from uh, originally. Uh, yeah. Anything crazy with your other band? Maybe I think my my most weird gig was the first rehearsal because <laughs> with you guys because I, because I haven't heard Rockabilly before this. You know, ah, before this so he was yeah. new to the scene. We just got in touch with Aileen for some other you know gig, and she was calling me like, "So what bands have you played in Rockabilly scene?" I'm like, 
I don't know what that is. <laughs> <laughs> so it was like, send me the songs, let's get together, <laughs> we'll get along. Give me some things to listen to, get me to the scene. Yeah. Yeah. So but that he's was a like, pro. And he's nailed it. He's yeah, he picks up playlists. Right. So yeah. now I have you know my rockabilly playlist, and I'm always try listening and catch up with the style and everything. Yeah. So. Yeah. yeah. Well, uh, we got to be thankful for the Hispanics because they're Seriously. mostly carrying the ball on the rockabilly yeah. resume. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yes, thank God. Mm -hmm. Very cool hot rods and, and mm -hmm. you know, fast cars and young kids. Yeah. Young kids in their And they're 20s. out there on the dance floor dancing and they look yeah. hot. It's great. It's really saving great. us. Yep. So thank you for that. <laughs> So let's well, talk. Let me see if it's coming back. Buen ejemplo. I can relate yeah. to Hori a little bit because I was clueless about rockabilly when I got the Setzer gig. The only reason I got on is because I could sight read big band charts. Mm. And then all these people, well, you know this band, you know this band. I'm a jazz guy. You know, I don't yeah, know. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, how can we get a hold of this? You can get a hold of us on our website, right? Mm -hmm. Aileen Quinn and the Leapin Lizards dot com. It's Leap there. In with Leap in. Leap in. Thank Leap you for in. saying that. No G. And uh, definitely there for sale as well as some t-shirts. <laughs> That's always fun to have merch. And look at all the stuff. And um, where else are we doing this? Uh, iTunes. Uh, you, you can get can, on iTunes. Right. And also on the website, she will autograph yes. some oh. for you if you like. I will. Can I get yeah. an autograph? Of course, for yeah. you. For you. It's a shot hat. Yeah. That's <laughs> cool. <laughs> and come out to the gigs. Yes, we play a lot around LA, so come on out. Gig. Meet the and whole band. Yeah, we'll be at Joe soon. We'll yeah. be at Joe soon. Yeah. We'll find gig info on the web. On the website. As well as Facebook. Facebook, Facebook page. Mm -hmm. All right. All right, now closing it off, who has cuffs? We're trying to get a consensus uh -huh. on how. Oh, you guys cuffing it today? I went, right. I went light cuffs today because I'm yeah, playing the drums. Regulation. Oh, yeah. My yeah, that's regulation. Cuffs cuff sometimes. Right. Cuffs on yeah. That. Yeah. And if I don't have yeah. these yeah. girls on, the <laughs> if I don't have my girls on, then I'm not I'm not rocking it. I got to have my, my spiky heels games, on. Yeah. Games, not cuffs. I got to work. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I'm so you win, actually. On the, I, on the yeah, rock these are short and cuffs yeah. because my pants shrunk. <laughs> 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 All right, ladies and gentlemen, Aileen Quinn and the Leaping Lizards. Thank you very much, everybody. You Thank you for having us. Thank you. Come out and see us. All right, boys, let's hit it.